good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're on our way now to the final air of the journey. Yeah, we're on our way to Wissant, um, which is the final stop before we get on the tunnel in the morning. Yeah, what well, cracking air that was the last two days. Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, the one you've seen in our last vlog, definitely recommend it. It's lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, it's only a couple of hours to the tunnel from there, so a, a few people there uh, were, uh, one left this morning to go to the tunnel, one's leaving Friday, so it, it, it is a bit of a drive to the tunnel though, but yeah. You know, but two, uh, two, three hours? Probably three hours, isn't it, because yeah. you always had time on here. Um, yeah, so another hundred and some kilometres today, two hour drive. Uh, but then we're only like 30, 40 minutes away from the tunnel. Something like that, yeah. Because we're on um, a 20 past 10 train. So checking at 20, check past, at 20 eight. past 8, yeah, so we've got to be up early. So hopefully we can get a 20 past 9 tunnel in the early one. We'll see. Because uh, obviously we've got to do pet passport and everything first. Pet passport, pet control, whatever it is. Yeah, that thing. Just seeing signs for Boulogne. I went there when I was a kid with school. It was rubbish. <laughs> so we're not going. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about that last, uh, I think I did mention it. It's right next to the sewerage plant. So I don't know. I wouldn't recommend well, it. We don't know if it was sewerage or your sewerage. It was definitely the sewerage yeah, plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you could smell it yesterday. Yeah. Did you use the toilet yesterday? You used the toilet yesterday. Yeah. Oh, speaking of the toilet, our. Uh, chicken things that are cooked oh yeah <laughs> so this is, Stephen doesn't do well with pork and I think it was sausage meat which was the sweet meat so yeah we didn't have a very good tummy this morning or last night or last night no <laughs> not, not good he's all right now try to poison him kill him off try him <laughs> not trying hard enough he's still here though <laughs> cold one last night minus three yeah, it was pretty frosty this morning. Minus three it was. Heading back to the UK. This is a problem. Going back to the cold. But on a plus now, it's 17 degrees in Portugal on the Algarve, which is gutting. That's not a plus now, we're not there. I know, but it would be a plus if we were still there. We'll pick you up when we get to this air, uh, eventually, whenever we get there, and see what it's like and see if we can get on. We've got about three or four backups, haven't we? Yeah, you got one on search for sites, aren't you? And I've got a couple got apart for night. So we'll case. see anyway. See where we end up. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. We have arrived in Wissant. Uh, we've come down to the beach to let the dogs have a bit of a run. They're on the lead at the minute because Ben's being a dick. <laughs> but uh, it's pretty, isn't it? Yes, yes, we're going to go up and have a look at the town in a minute because it's very windy here. I don't know how well you can yeah. hear me. a nice little walk along the promenade there are signs that say no dogs um, but everybody seems to have dogs so we brought the dogs <laughs> their last breaker. last beach run before they go home tomorrow well home home turf home country yeah we don't have a home <laughs> well we do we don't the van's the home apparently we sand literally means white white sand um, and if this, uh, we were saying that the sea was very rough, weren't we? Yes. But it's one of the best uh, kite surfing and surfing destinations in northern France, apparently. So that is why. We're going back to the park up now and have a cup of tea and settle in for the night. So got to get up early. Um, I'll show you the air because we're only about 20 minutes away from the tunnel. So it would be ideal stop off if you come over late and you're tired or 
you're on your way back like us we were going to stay about an hour out but we've decided it takes us so long to get anywhere in france <laughs> the closer we are the better <laughs> So our air is just to the right here, it's free, we'll show you around a little bit. So you've got your drive over just to the right um, as you come into the car park. Plenty of bins. We can't figure out where the toilet dump is. Been it down there, We're pretty sure it's that grid there, it's but the people have been putting it down the grey waste. Yeah. No wonder the dogs are going nuts. Lazy buggers couldn't be bothered trying to find out where it was, obviously. And we're parked just at the back here. As you can see, it's a nice big car park. And there's probably only eight vans on here at the most. As so long as we sleep okay, I'm pretty happy. Good morning all, we are at the tunnel waiting for our call for our train, I think we're on an hour earlier train than we were supposed to be because um, we were here pretty early, pet reception was a doddle, even easier than we're folks We're not on an earlier train, we are? 9.20 isn't it? I was right, we are on an earlier train um, yeah, so he'd asked us at the, at the booth um, if we wanted to change the time and I just clicked yes, yeah. so we're on 9.20 instead of 10.20 um, yeah, dogs are all checked in, we've got all our passes, so we're just waiting for the call now to do passport control and then we can get on the train. So that's the board that we're watching, there's lots of work going on around here, so we're not exactly sure where we're supposed to go, but there is a sign that says board in there, that's what we're going to follow. We're on the move, so we're just following the boarding signs currently and there are lots of wagons parked up because they're doing lots of work, so a lot of them are in the way. So we're still following the signs for boarding. <laughs> Grand Bretagne. That's where we are now, mate. Yes, Great Britain. Yeah, can't go past the cones. Making sure. I'm going right. Help and guidance and assist the arms. I think this is passport control we're coming up to now, so I'll be back in a minute. Got sniffer dogs in front. Uh -oh. <laughs> so we've cleared the sniffer dogs and now we are on the only open lane. And our immobiliser took right at that moment to decide not to start the van. <laughs> it always does. Comple complex alarm system. Yeah, I don't know how they'd steal it. We can't even start it half the time. <laughs> We're not lying either. <laughs> We're not. It, it's too complex for me. <laughs> right. I'll just show you where we are very slowly. So we are now UK border control. So we're probably going to have to do our passports again. The weird thing was. French border control was on the driver's side and the UK border control was on the passenger's side. Yeah, yeah that's a bit weird that. <laughs> Very <Yeah>. weird. <laughs> we'll be back people. UK border control done. He was one grumpy bloke, wasn't he? Yeah. She was nice but he was grumpy. So we're now in the large vehicle lane. How long have you been? Yeah, asking us how long we'd been Crazy and enough. where we'd been to and... Did we own the motor? But we haven't been pulled over, um, all the vans seem to be being pulled over and gone through with a fine tooth comb, so the panel vans. So we'll catch up with you when we get on the tunnel. On the train, even. The man is just with Steve outside, checking the gas. Um, he's very friendly, bless him. How cute was he? He was mental. Bless him. <laughs> he's like he was on a prize show. Yeah. <laughs> Want to check your gas? <laughs> Bless him, he was all nice. Well, that made a difference to the guy in UK border and control. And then he checks the gas. I said, I don't drive with it on anyway. He's like, good. <laughs> and then he gets back in his auto and he goes, lane number four. <laughs> Bless him, he was ace. <laughs> Makes your morning a bit better. <laughs> we are now in lane number four, waiting to board the train. 
successfully navigated the Yorba Tunnel on the French side. <laughs> Didn't get lost. <laughs> no. Although I did rip the hanger. Look, they, they give you these flimsy paper ones. It's not even cardboard, and I was trying to rip it to put it in the thing. Um, it just because it gives you a little hole for the mirror, and it just ripped into pieces. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so um lane four waiting. Lane four like waiting. We get on the tunnel, have a cup of tea, and then we're on our way to our next destination. Oh. Yeah. Where are we going? Uh Stratford somewhere. Yeah, we're just uh, a little place just outside of Stratford upon Avon. Can't be arse driving all the way back. No, I'm not. Because we obviously we we were going back to my mum's in Wales to unload all the summer store. Uh, sort the van out. Sort the van out, ready for the uh, summer of work. The summer of work, which we'll do another uh, our 23 plan uh, in another vlog, where, where, where what area we'll be working and etc. and what our plans are, and yeah. if we'll if we'll be coming back here next year well, yeah. to Europe. So we'll probably catch up with you when we get to Stratford, um, because I won't have enough for a vlog on its own. I'm just doing this, so see you in a bit. What have you just done? Took my headlight protectors off. <laughs> um, uh, deflectors. Deflectors and protectors. Just took them off. They're crap, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> they are. I've seen people putting pieces of tape on them. I don't know. I don't. I know one of mine was in the right place, but I lost interest by the second one. The instruction book was about like that. <laughs> it was where you're supposed to put it so I just no, men don't read instructions so I went in the like that bin filed it under the bin and put them on myself the orange van that we followed onto the train actually broke down at the other end uh, they did call recovery in uh, we were stuck there for about 10 minutes and in the end the van actually started on its own and um, we think he had the ignition on the whole time we are at our site um just outside of stratford green gates caravan park i think it's about. called um love it actually really nice really nice site yeah uh, siemens met the owner been over and had a chat lovely guy and he's recommended that we go to the property because it's all right food and all right the price. Yeah. So there's me cooking and that's where we're going. <laughs> all the pitches, bang on, yeah, concrete. Pit show you. Uh, pitches are all massive like this. You get They've all got water on the pitch, electric on the pitch. Picnic table. Picnic table on the pitch, some massive pitches. Um, 16 amp. 16 amp electric. Because it's a rarity at the moment for us, that. A little toilet block. Um, best shower I've had in about two months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Absolutely amazing shower. I was in there for ages. Um, no yeah, but it's freaking cold in the UK, people. <laughs> I forgot it goes dark so early. It's only like half past four and it's going dark. <laughs> I know, so we're used to it being like this about six o'clock. <laughs> So uh, yeah, apparently if you walk to the end of the site, there's a gate, you go out. Go left, go, go over left. the bridge. I've got my phone in my pocket because... He, he said three lefts. He did taste, tell Stephen and yeah. Stephen's notorious for not listening. Not listening, just forget Yeah, so we're in a little place called Snitterfield, which is just outside of Stratford-upon-Avon. Um, and it's Green Gates um, Caravan Camping Park. And it's £27 a night, uh, everything included, which is a nice change for us because it's always extra for this, extra for that, you know, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. Uh, I can see the pub, I hope it's warm. If I remember right, it was only three miles off the M5, so it's an ideal stop. I think I'd stop here again on the, on the way back. Uh, I think it's worth it just for the shower. <laughs> yeah, if you've done a lot of European showers, yeah, you can't you can't beat it. To be fair, it's uh, very hot, it's very the... nice. Anyway, go in the pub. pub. Food. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> We're in the pub. Yeah, yeah. Helen. Cheers. Bye.
is the end of our European adventure. Yeah. Cheers. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Just checking my mic was on. Um, yeah, so Green Gates, absolutely bang on site. Lovely owner, nice pub meal last night. Um, proper enjoyed that, didn't we? Did, yeah, it was very nice. Nice English food. English pub grub, we've missed it. Um, yeah, perfect little site, absolutely brilliant. Lovely facilities. Um, the owner, Mark, came around and spoke to Steve yesterday and then he come and checked on another couple that come late last night. Lovely little site, we'll definitely be going back there. Yeah, he's pretty full today, from today. He says it could be because of uh, NEC, yeah. but like you say, it seems ideally placed for a lot of things. Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, so yeah, we are on our way now. Spend a couple of days with some friends, so we're doing some downtime. Uh, we just want to let you know that um, we will, from now on, it'll just be one video a week again. Yeah, as we prepare to get ready to go back to the uh, work. The world of work. World of work no more lions. Seven, seven <laughs> eight months, and then. Uh, if we're going back abroad or working or whatnot, who knows? Yeah. Um, so we will take the opportunity to say thanks very much for watching and following on our European adventure. There is a playlist. I'll link it in the description below if you've not seen all the videos. Uh, feel free to go back and watch them. If anyone's got any questions regarding any of our trip, uh, or anywhere we've been, yeah, uh, we will be doing a vlog of costs what we've done and we'll probably do another vlog to be fair of uh, about the European trip but what to expect our good bits our bad bits because we won't put it in with the costs because we don't want to confuse you and it's going to be quite long yeah, it will be quite long because we've like say it's been out nearly two months there's a lot of costs <laughs> so yeah we'll do another vlog but if anyone's got anything feel free to message us on Facebook Instagram whatever and um, yeah we'll be happy to answer any questions yeah or if you want to know any of the airs and stuff that we stayed on please feel free to give me a message i've got them all marked down on park for night so i'm happy to send you the links or whatever um yeah 200 yards straight on slip road to m14 so we will uh, take the opportunity to say thanks very much for watching everybody please remember to like comment and subscribe i will see you in the next one see you later Bye.